advance on a pool. It is aging a bit, the old hotel, but it's still in a prime spot, right in the centre of town, and still priced fairly good for what you're getting. It's right on the river, beautiful pool. They've done away with the buffet breakfast. Come down for brekkie this morning, it wasn't a buffet, but it was only me and Chris and then another table. I think maybe because of the quiet period, the just so much wasted your food setting out a buffet just for four people well there was four at that time at 8 30. but i can understand that i imagine in the uh busier times that they would have the buffet back it'd be a pisser if they didn't the buffet was pretty good and they had, but they still got the cereal out you just got to go hunting for the milk i don't know why they put cereal out without milk it, they I don't think they know how cereal works. <laughs> You've got to have it with milk. Look at this. All I've been doing is going around picking up leaves for it. Uh, this is a good pool. It's warmer in than it is actually out at the moment. And um, we're in here waiting for it to flog down on us. That would be cool. Bit of a storm coming in through there. Coming down from the north. It was that direction that the Kangaroo Falls are and that is where the viewpoint was that I went ass up in, yeah. But I just wanted to give you guys a bit of a, a cool view look at this hotel. And it is a nice clean pool. Very happy with it. So I am a bit of a creature of habit, you know, once you do find a good place to stay in a location, I tend to keep coming back there. You know, um, it's probably not a good thing to do to help you guys out, but uh, I have stayed in a few other places and been uh, a little bit disappointed and a little bit disappointed in the Elephant Crossing. And other places which were much cheaper just do not compare to this. So, yeah, I don't have the pool, um, the views, and they do have the being centralised, like the Paradise Hotel. That was only 20, it's probably about 25, 30 dollars now, I'd imagine. But it is that is a good location. If you don't want a view, you don't want um, a pool. The Paradise Hotel, right near the roundabout, just across the road from the Smile Massage, you will find it. But you can't beat the Vansana as far as I'm concerned for Riverside, closest to town, and a good pool. But I haven't stayed at the Silver Naga. The Silver Naga is a little bit more expensive, so um, I think you're looking over a hundred Aussie bucks there. So. This will do me, this will do me. So if you're wondering why I keep coming here, this is why. Good morning guys, from Vung Viang. Um, just after 8, 8.30ish, and we are heading up. We've turned the wrong street, dude. we we'll go to the next one. We were heading up there. We're heading this way, heading this way. We're gonna get some breakfast at um, a bakery. Al Vansana hasn't got the buffet on at the moment and it's a, a fairly poor choice. Very, very limited choice in what you can get. They do have some chocolate cereal but you gotta beg and steal for some milk. They keep it under lock, lock and key and they will pour it into your cereal for you. That, that's how that's how precious the milk is up here. And mainly due to the fact it's low season. It's a waste of a shit ton of food, putting a lot of food out just to sit there and not be eaten at a buffet. So we've decided to go for a morning stroll, go get ourselves a good hearty breakfast. And as young Chris was just telling me, there's a 90% chance, or was it 95? It was 90. 90. 90% chance of rain today, around midday. 
Looked like it was going to come over and flog down on us yesterday. Come over pretty black when we are in the pool, but it didn't. Look at that. Look at that. That's the view you used to have on the adjacent street that's running parallel with this until that big fat Amari kid jumped in its place at the end of the street. Went and ruined the view. So it's just up here, the, the Wan Pabang Bakery. That's where we're gonna head for breakfast and uh, plan our day from there. We got a good breakfast here. Gonna go to the muesli fruit and yogurt. I'm filling up, filling up for the day. The pancake, banana, and chocolate. Nice sour coffee. Nice sour coffee. What are you leaning towards, mate? I'm gonna have muesli also. Yeah. And a couple of scrambled eggs. Nice. Yeah. Should fill us up. Like you're looking at thirty thousand kip, which is five Aussie dollars for the fruit, fruit and yogurt. The same with the big pancake. So you're looking at just under Western uh, prices for here, but we're definitely not going to get that at the Bantana this morning. Uh, <laughs> We're going to get cereal without milk, I know. <laughs> Cold wiener. Yeah. Cold wiener. They didn't even have bacon. Mm. Bantana. I just hope it is for the low season and you haven't done a with your buffet breakfast. Be a tragedy. I think I've messed up again. The eyes are too big for me belly. This is a monster servant. Check out this muesli and fruit. And we've both gone and got another dish. Chris has got the egg scramble eggs coming. We're absolute pigs. We just did not realise how big the servings were. But that looks alright. Have a bloody go at that. Yeah, I got no hope to get that. No hope. <laughs> but this is going to be my lunch too, I think. I don't think I'll be eating. That's something different, isn't it? Okay guys, I couldn't finish it all. I did my best, honestly. Um, restaurant the Wakba Bar Bakery. Halfway up this street here. B-cell bank there. Word of warning, if you are hungry, still do not order two meals. Wait until your first one comes and then decide whether you want another meal. They are big servings and they, it is a really nice feed there. Uh, really reasonably priced, you know, the, the big pancake was five for Aussie bucks. The muesli, nice fresh fruit and yogurt and that, uh, that was five Aussie bucks. So. There has been cheaper, but it's still cheaper than back home. But the, so the serving size is a massive. Oh, no. We've decided what we're doing. How was your food, young Chris? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit too much. Look at that, these mountains are crystal clear today. No haze at all. We mightn't get any rain. Yeah.